What's up, fourth and fifth graders? Day 12 today, gonna be a big one. A quick shout out, fifth graders, you guys see the shirt, Youth Encounter? That's you guys at the end of this summer. Let's go, fourth graders, you're almost there, but until then you get to hang out with us, so you're not even missing anything, because we're better. I'm kidding, don't tell them I said that, please, please. Okay, today, we're in the book of Jeremiah, that's in the Old Testament, chapter 29, verse 13. Before we jump in, I got a quick story about when I was in middle school and high school. I had a group of friends that I got to live really close to, which was awesome. And we would go over to one of our friend's house who lived in a cul-de-sac, but there was a lot of land around. So people had pretty big yards and there was a lot of trees and, and stuff all around his house. So we played this game called Alley Cat. And this was the game. One person is it, so they start in their driveway. And however many other people are there, they all go out and hide, but you could hide in some extreme places. Most of the time inside the house was off limits, but you people would be high up in trees, underneath cars, four houses down. They would be hiding in between trash cans or in a hot tub or something crazy. So when you were it, you were on a mission. You were seeking out the people that were hiding from you. And if you tagged them before they got back to the base, then they were it. So that was the whole name of the game, kind of like a bigger hide and go seek, if you will. So you'll figure out why I said that when I read this. Jeremiah 29, if you don't have your Bible, oh my goodness, I didn't say this. Make sure that you go and get it. This is really important. You'll need something to write on and something to write with as well. Okay, finally, here we go, here we go. Jeremiah 29 verse 13, it says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Ooh, so here's the deal. This was written to a group of people that were in exile. And what that means is that they lived in Israel, but they got captured by a nation called Babylon. So they lived in Israel, they got captured and they got taken. Most of the people got taken over to Babylon and they were living in what the Bible calls exile. So you can tell your parents that you learned something new today. You learned what living in exile means. So this was written to a group of people that were living in exile. And God says this, when you, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So God is promising that when we seek him with all of our heart, we will find him. That was true for the people living in exile who this was written to. And that's true for us today. So just like in the game of Alley Cat, when we are it, we are seeking everyone else. We're trying to find them. That's a great image for us to think of when we think about seeking God. But here's the thing, God promises that we will find him when we seek him. So that is an incredible, incredible thing. So here's the question that I want you guys to think about and to write down. What is keeping you from seeking God with all your heart. What is keeping you from seeking God with all your heart? If you can't come up with anything, please go ask your parents. They would love to help you with this. Um, this is a great, a great question to think of. It's a hard one for me to answer as well. So this is gonna be awesome. It's a great question. So here we go. We're on day 12. Tomorrow's day 13. Can you guys believe that we're almost two weeks? I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day.